How you doing, my Facebook friends? I love my Facebook fans and my family. And you know, I'm making this video today because uh, I noticed over the well last year or so, you'll be surprised how many uh, people in this world are going through a struggle. You know, sometimes in life you have to you have to make a sacrifice. And uh, two years ago, I made a big sacrifice in my life. Um, I walked out of my job and spent time with my moms man spent seven eight months with my my dying mother and it took a lot out of me man and can you imagine your bills out and up and uh, just imagine life just just being on hold sleeping in the car at the nursing home with my moms sleeping in her hospital room in her room staying at the hospital for 24 hours a day seven days a week for over three months man being with moms I realize sometimes man in life that you just have to make a sacrifice and I made a sacrifice and um, part of that uh, part of that hardship uh, comes with that sacrifice and how uh, you deal with the sacrifice and so I'm dealing with some things because um, um, I'm having the nightmares and I'm having the dreams I'm having the, the crying spells um, I, I don't know if I'm just grieving right or what but um it's tough man you know and thinking about my younger son and um things going on with that and being away from family in california and divert divorce hurts too you know um it really does you know some people don't realize what divorce can do to you too and so my father dying in my lap in a car accident and uh that was tough God said he's not going to put no more than you can bear. And sometimes, man, it's, it's so rough, man, it's real, you know. And um, I just want to man up and let you know that uh, even though I'm the no shirt comedian and I make people laugh and uh, I got some projects that I'm working on with my book, A Man Without Money, and my board games, Kevin Strip and Stage Player Rose and Two Chocolate Nuts. And I got a lot of gifts inside of me, man. But sometimes, no matter how many gifts that you have inside of you or or projects that you're working on, uh, real life steps in and slaps you in the face, man. And uh, it slapped me in the face, and um, I'm living reality right now. I'm living in a situation that I never thought I would be living be in before. I'm going to reach out to some some people, and um, it, it's rough sometimes. Uh, yeah, is it, is it hurting? Yeah, it's, it's hurting me big time. Uh, uh, never been in jail in my life. Never been in jail in my life, man. But um, might be in a position where I might have to to go. You know, when money is funny and it's not. You know, it's, it's weird how bill collectors can call you or make you seem like you're such a bad person. But I, I told this one bill collector, you know what? It's not that I'm a bad person. We all have bills. But just because a person don't pay their bills, don't don't mean that they don't they 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 just some don't have the money sometimes. And sometimes you got to rob Peter to pay Paul, man. It doesn't make you a bad person. It's just that you don't have the money. These same people that says that I'm a bad person or you're a bad person, if you hit the lotto tomorrow and be able to pay off all your bills, you will have A1 credit and they will think you are so cool. It's all about money in this world, man. People treat you all according to the amount of money you have. You have people chasing money. You have people sell drugs, chasing money. You have people gamble, chasing, trying to get that money. Money is the root of all evil, man, because we know we got to have it. That's how come I titled my book, A Man Without Money. Imagine a man without money. A woman cannot have any money. She could see Tom, Dick, and Harry. All of them, they can pay, pay her rent, pay her bills. You know, a man without money, it speaks in the Bible. A man without money, that's a deep topic. We know how homeless people live. We know how, you know, strippers can go out there and make some money and hustle. We know how dope dealers can go out there and make some money. We know how you can go out there with a, and get a job and make some money. And it's all good. But imagine that. A man without money? People just don't have no clue of what it's like to be a man without money. Like my bishop T.D. Jake said, it's hard to be a man. And it's even harder when you don't have no money and the way the system is set up for a black man. 
against a black man. Yeah, we can go out there and 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 and, ch and chase our dreams. Yeah, and and that's what we should do. We should do everything in our power to do what we can do. But at the end of the day, when you've done all you can do, and you've been treated unfairly on some of these jobs, discrimination and stuff like that, the racism that's going on. I'm one of the reasons why I'm in a situation I'm in right now. I'm not working right now. The reason why I walked out on my job because of discrimination, racism. Am I going to fight it? Yes. That's the reason why I'm making this video, man. You got to stand up for your rights. You got to stand up for your rights in this life. If you don't, they'll eat us alive and spit us out, man. We got to stand together as black people helping black people. Poor people helping poor people. That's why I love the story of Tyler Perry. I love the story of Steve Harvey. I've had a chance to, to work with Steve Harvey in, the, in, in the, his mentoring program. I used to drive Steve Harvey around in limousines, Nickelodeon in California in a Jackson limousine. I've worked with all kinds of stars, man. Barry White, Brandy on Moesha, Queen Latifah, Casey and JoJo, Boys the Men, Michael Jackson, Tony Danza. You don't believe it? Contact all these people, the ones that's living there, that, that, that you know. I've seen the lifestyle of the rich and famous. But let me tell you something. Even some of the rich and famous people in the world got more trials and tribulations going on than poor people. The bottom line, at the end of the day, we're all people. We're humans. Sometimes we feel like when we got something going on in our lives, guess what? You Somebody else got it going on 10 times as worse than you. But I'm a fighter. I've always been a fighter all my life. But this sacrifice that I made is, is yeah, it's, it's a little harder than I thought it was going to be. But I would make this same sacrifice for my mother over a thousand times. Martin Luther King said it. In life, you got to find something worth living, for, worth dying for. Everybody should have something worth dying for. If life is not worth living, if you don't have nothing dying for, to die for. I'll die for my mother. I would die for my father. I would die for my sons, my kids. We got so much, so much unjust going on in this world. Racism is a shame, man. But we got to keep our heads up. The first thing we got to do is got to love ourselves. Love ourselves. And stop killing each other. Look at Colin Kaepernick. What he going through? Let me tell you something. Even though I said we got to fight for ourselves, man, but it comes with a price. But it's all right. That's where it comes in at. Where he says, if there's nothing in life worth dying for, life is worth not worth living. You got to stand for something. You got to stand for something, dog, in this world. As long as there's people in this world, man, it's going to be it's going to be chaos. We got two forces. We got God, good, and we got the devil and the evil. Let me tell you something. The devil got some soldiers going on too out there. You got to watch your back. You can't trust everybody. I just want to share this because I know there's so many people out there going through some trials and tribulations, man. But hold on. As long as you got God in your life, hold on. That's all you need. It's going to be tough sometimes. Yeah, you're going to have some, some, some tough times. You're going you're gonna to want to cry and all that. But don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Sons got to start supporting mothers and fathers. Mothers and fathers got to start supporting the kids. And when it comes to friends, man, whew, when you think you got a friend, a real friend, mm -hmm, a real friend will go through the trials and tribulations with you. They will go through the pain and hurt and the suffering with you. They will fight and pray with you. They will never leave your side. And if you got a friend like that that did leave your side or will leave your side like that, they, they ain't your friend. And I guarantee you, those same friends have stepped out in life and experienced the same trials and tribulations you are. Sometimes these saved people, they get saved, then they turn their back on everybody else like they've been saved all their damn life. It's like, damn. Hey, man, you, you've been cheating on your wife for 20 goddamn years, but now you're living life right. 
and you can't forgive nobody else in life? Because you saved now. You're a good man now, huh? A good man never turns his back on people, never forgets where he comes from in his trials and tribulations. It's enough about friends, man. I love all you guys, man. I love all the people that support the projects and the dreams that I'm working on. The day is coming, and I'll never forget none of y'all. But I forgive. I forgive all those who hurt me. I forgive all those that I have hurt. I, I, you know, I'm sorry if I've hurt some people in life. We're, we're human, man. We're in this flesh. You can go to church every day, 24 hours a day, and still never end, in, end up in the kingdom of heaven. Because it's not about that. It's about your relationship with God. You got to have a relationship with God. So what I'm going through right now, I stepped out on faith, man. I'm trusting because I got a relationship with God every single day. Don't just build a relationship and get a relationship with God when you're going through some trials and tribulations, man. You got to have him in your life when you when the, the good is going too. Don't just use God when, when life is going bad for you and you're going through some struggle. Hey, build a relationship with him. On a funny note, you know, I know you guys used to send uh, the No Shirt Comedian the Smooth thing, man. I'm trying something new, man. Maybe one day I'll get a letter. I got a lot of women saying that this looks good, looks distinguished. But it was hard for me to grasp it because it looked old. I don't want to be old. I don't want to look old. I said, I'm not going to start growing a beard and, and, and showing this gray until I get 60 years old. Every day I'm letting it grow, trying it. So I can do some, take some pictures and and do work on this project I'm working on. You know, I, I'm I'm getting used to this thing. Maybe I might get it trimmed up and dyed in black like my son. Man, he looked good in his. I love all you guys, man. I love you all, man. I love you, Wallace. I love you, Greg. I love you, Wayne. I love you, Rodney. I love you, Keith. I, I love you, Kevin Webb. I love you, Pops. Matthew Spencer. I love you, son. I love both of you, son. I love you, moms. Rest in peace, baby. I just wanted to share this and get this off my back today. We got to start loving each other. Everybody's a paycheck away from being homeless, man. I know people that got payday loans out. Step away from being homeless, man. Can't pay their bills. We're all in this boat together. It's not about the money. It's about building relationship with people. And treating each other right. I'm feeling this pain. I, I took you down the journey of me feeling pain with my moms. And I'm just taking you through this journey of me feeling some pain every day right now. I love you guys all. Keep me in your prayers big time. Peace.